Yudhisthira and Bhima. Okay, they have gone to some place, and due to some reason, they are separated. There is a river bank. One is on one side, the other is on the other side. Okay, imagine a river bank. Yudhisthira here, Bhima on the other side. Hmm? Now, for some reason, Bhima is very upset. He used to get upset very quickly. Okay. He, st he starts shouting at you this now. across the river bank. He's shouting. Okay. What did you do? What did you do? Why you did like this? Why did you fight? Why did you play the game of dice? And where are we today? We are, he goes on and on shouting at him. You shouldn't have promised this. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done this. Look now we have to have this war and you know how we start when we complain. There is no end. So that's how he goes on and on and on. So Yudhisthira, Sthira, very calm, very complacent. He looks at Bhima and says, Hey, come here. Come on this side. Then we'll talk face to face. Tu udar se chilla mat, tu idar aja. Okay? So Bhima is very upset. But of course, he can do anything. He quickly crosses the river and comes and stands in front of him. And suddenly he says, Oh my God, why was I speaking like that? Why did I behave so rudely with you? Why was I shouting at you? I am so sorry. You are my elder brother. I should respect you. Whatever you did, I am sure there was a reason or no reason. It doesn't matter. Your decisions are accepted by me. I am extremely sorry. I shouldn't have behaved like this with you. And then he says, you are the elder brother. Please tell me what happened to me. Why did I behave like that? Why was I shouting at you? Imagine. So Yudhisthira says very nicely, very calmly, where you are, where you were standing 10 minutes ago across the river is a place where there are only Chandalas. Chandala is someone who killed and eat all kinds of flesh and all those people. So that was a village of such people and you were amongst them and that energy just got into you. You spoke rudely. The minute you came here on this side of the river bank, it's nothing to do with me. If the entire village here does yagya, homa, chanting, too many temples and there is a different kind of uh, lifestyle here. So lifestyle change. So here are all the The entire difference was stepping from there to here, he became different. That's all. So that influenced his mind. That kind of energy influenced his mind wherein he also started feeling like, you know, irritated, tamas, rajas, everything came up too much. The minute he came this side, the sattva, the, you know, the dharma, everything started flowing from him and he started apologizing. So where we are makes a big difference. So sometimes at one place we'll be like shouting, suddenly we step out and we'll be, why was I shouting? I'm not such a person, what happened to me? It, the place matters, okay, the place matters. So at times maybe in the office you'll be shouting or maybe in the college or school or wherever you're going, you'll suddenly feel irritated and you may just say something and come home and feel sitting in front of your puja room and be like, why was I behaving like that? I am not such a person. The place affects us. So let us not say, okay, I was in that place, so I shouted. I can see some nods and all. Please, no. <laughs> That's not why we are here, okay? No, no, it's okay. Not for us. What we will do is we'll bring our awareness. We have to be aware what we are doing, when we are doing, how we are doing. Okay, this awareness will come from whatever we learn, whatever we do, and with more awareness, we'll be with when you're aware, you know what's happening. It's not that you won't say, maybe you'll start off and you'll be able to stop. That difference will be there, and you know, okay, I'm here, I, sh I should be more careful.